Okay, so Pete, um, you were behind um, uh, the here in my home video, and you've done the fifteen Malaysia project, and now I understand you've come up with two videos for Hari Malaysia. Mm. Now, yeah. what what has brought this about? Um, about sort of maybe about a year ago, I I stumbled onto so sort of some old newsreel footage of uh, those days, you know, the fifties and the sixties. And one of the footage uh, that I saw was obviously the Tonku Madeka footage and, and a lot of actually community shots of our community uh, in about 50 years ago. And <coughs> I found it actually quite moving. I found it actually quite, you know, the, the, actually the faces of the people there actually then were different. They were far more open. I think especially if you look at those, uh, on those two footage from those two particular days, um, uh, 57 and 63, um, people were proud, um, and there was actually a lot of pride, a lot of optimism, and, and it st struck me as there was a huge contrast between now and then. So I thought it might be interesting to sort of just make a project out of those things. People, are you coming with me? Oh yeah. People, are you coming with me? Oh, yeah. Okay, because, I mean, you said that you saw that people were a lot more proud of the country and enthusiastic, optimistic back then. What was going on at that period of time in Malaysia that made you think it w that was a big difference? It was a new nation being founded. Um, and naturally, there was a lot more optimism, a lot more hope, as it were, and excitement. Uh, you know, we just made our own country, that sort of thing. Um, which I thought was very, very interesting. Uh, because you can really do, you, you can really see the eyes are very different. The hope is very different. And why do you think that might have changed from now? And, and are you hoping that with these videos, that some of that sense of um, hope and excitement will be revived? I think we need to... Um, reassess where we are. I think what looking back into a slice of real history um, does for us is to make us reflect a little bit. And I think what I've tried to do in the film is exactly that, which is, oh, have a look and have a think. I'm not going to say too much. It's just a, a series of footage, some, a lot of CGI. Okay, now let's, let's talk uh, yeah. a bit yeah, about the video itself. So, um, I mean, maybe you can tell us a bit, like, what exactly have you done? And uh, I understand there's a lot of big names involved as well in the production. How about you, can I say that? So what, what, what we had done was that we had taken footage from these two probably seminal moments in Malaysian history. One was August 31st, 1957. And in fact, the newsreel was called um, Merdeka for Malaya. And then we had also taken footage from <clears throat> from the events surrounding um, September 16th, 1963. Essentially what we had done was had taken footage from these two events um, and put them together as one music video with one sort of overarching story, one overarching uh, theme, and placed that, on top of that, a music, a piece of score that Pete had written and had gotten a couple of very wonderful singers to sing on. And then from that, we then sort of called up a lot of celebrities, personalities, famous Malaysians that we know, and so asked them if they wanted to come in and have some fun, uh, which they did, I guess. <laughs> was it easy to get these people on board? Getting them on board was actually considerably easier than actually getting them to come up on board. <laughs> so by that I mean when we call them they say yeah we'd love to do it and then it was like scheduling thing when's the date we're gonna shoot and obviously because with the kind of setup we needed we couldn't just have one guy separately from everybody else so we had to have we sat down on, we locked down five days and just say okay who's available for these five days if you're available please come down let's have some fun if you're not sorry we'll call you again next year um, so <laughs> So, okay. so basically that was it, yeah. So everybody, everybody we spoke to generally wanted to be on board, and, but it was just a matter of scheduling and things like that. You know, especially as it, we shot, our casting period was like th two weeks before the GE and we shot up a week and after the GE. Yeah. So 
Yeah, so, so you can imagine people, yeah, to get, to get, to get to politicians is quite yeah. American. Really. To get yeah. them to commit to a date yeah. after the election, yeah. so they're saying, "Well, we don't know if we're going to be busy. We don't know what the situation will be like." So mm. was so that, that intentional? Was, that the the that it was no, something was after the not, election. No, <laughs> no, no, first, our not. first date, the first tentative shoot date, was actually on the election day. That was our this is prior to well, knowing that it was the election. No, well, we, we, we set up the date and then they declared the election. Yeah. Then, <laughs> Wait a second. No, this won't work. <laughs> yeah, no. It's like nobody's going to show up now. I mean, it's quite incredible, the, the, the footage that, that you had in your video. And I mean, is that something... I, I guess for a lot of, especially the younger generation, they might not have necessarily seen that footage and that sort of bringing it... Mm. Your videos bringing it to a new yeah. generation. I think that's the point. I think that's mm. the point of making it. I mean, the, the thing that... that that was in my head after I saw those videos, uh, those old archive footage, was that we must bring this to, to Malaysians today. I mean, the first question I asked was, why aren't, these are wonderful things, why aren't they played more mm -hmm. on our, our, our airwaves? You hardly see them anymore. And it, suddenly you only get to see these days the Medeka, Medeka, Medeka footage, maybe once a year. Uh, but you actually don't get to hear the speech before that. Which to me was central. I think. I mean, we've, we've the, uh, our video is really very much built on that speech, and mm. that is really the high point. As far as what you guys are doing, did you receive support from the government in its production? No, that initially it was a. Uh, I think maybe you explain this. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> this is the one you throw to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, I think. Uh, let's say the the film Nagara arm, um, the one where we, where we got the footage from, were very supportive. Um, I spent a lot of time there, spent a lot of time talking to the people there, and, and they, were, they were very helpful to the point where it felt like they really wanted this footage out. You know, they really wanted people to watch these things. They really wanted people to come and get the footage and use them. So in that sense, we got that support, um, and they were very great, and they were great, uh, very helpful. Sometimes we had some weird requests that I would go back to them and they would just help out. Like literally I'd walk up to them and go, do you have any footage of, you know, Tungkap Rahman? Like what kind of footage? I want to see everything. And they would pull out DVDs after DVD after DVD. And I would just sit there and they'll put me in a nice room. They'll make sure nobody disturbs me. And I'll just sit there and watch it. And they just keep coming back. Oh, here's another DVD I found. Here's another DVD I found. So that, so they were very helpful. Um, whether we got any other sort of... <laughs> Support well, the, no, well, we got a lot of support from from film like Grand Finals. I think that yeah. they, they were wonderful. I yeah. thought they were really, really, really cool. And has that always uh, been your experience with them? Um, uh, hard <laughs> question to answer. But uh, <laughs> um, no, but this 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 time was was a joy. Was it really? Yeah, it was, it was a, a joy, time, really. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, we had to license it. I mean, this yeah. footage wasn't free. I mean, we had to license it commercially. But but they made the process use, very easy. It's yeah. extremely easy yeah. and. Other than that, no, 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 no government support. If you if you're saying in terms of funding, if somebody wrote me a check, no. No, okay. So how no, was it funded? No, nobody wrote me then? a check. Um, we we actually stumbled onto private citizens and we talked about the project and actually they coughed up. I mean, pretty much there's about 12, 11 or twelve people, individuals. 12. How do you stumble upon private citizens? Well, some no, yeah. some of them are fans. Some of them know my work before. Some of them were friends. Mm. And the friends would spread the word out. There was a, a few, I think four or five, who were literally just, I tweeted it, and people just sent money. So what is the budget for something like this? I can't say, but yeah. <laughs> okay, because so it was quite expensive? The market. No, no, it was small the market. <laughs> really, it was small the market. I mean, it's a huge amount of work being done. But is, it, is yeah. this something that you think has been attempted before? In, in Malaysia? Oh, no, I've been that. It's hardly state-of-the-art. But uh, by world standard, not state-of-the-art. I mean, we, we are sort of catching up to America yeah. circa Forrest Gump, really. Yeah, yeah. Which this is really Forrest Gump was 15 years ago, pretty much. 12, 12 years ago, maybe, something okay, like that. Yeah. Um, um, no, so it's not, it's not state of the art. But in Malaysia, I don't think anyone's attempted it. Um, certainly not in the context of what we're doing, which is we're t we've, we've done it to a real, real piece of our history, really. Mm. Yeah. Um, it, it's hard. It's very, you see, it's, it's hard. It's really difficult. But obviously, this is something that you are quite passionate about. And yeah. I mean, given your past projects, it has always had to do with Malaysia, the concept of home. And um, I was in Australia for five years prior to coming back. And here in my home is one song that you heard at every oh, Malaysian wow, event. 
And are you hoping that that sort of success is replicated with this movie? Of course I want people to watch it, you know, and, and to listen to it. Um, but it, it sounds very strange to say this, but, you know, I, I, I make it a habit never to think about the audience when I make work. I, it's very self-indulgent and RC, I know, but <laughs> yeah, I try not to because I think, I think once you start going, oh, I must be popular, you start losing the honesty, you start losing the bravery, and I think you, you stop yourself from doing a lot of things that you should be doing. So, so in the creative process, I'm quite careful not to think. Mm -hmm.